Once you've unpacked and confirmed that everything's available as per the scope of delivery, your first step is to apply the hoses. So we like to apply a thin film of oil to the actual hose fittings themselves, and then it's a matter of just screwing them on using a 17 mil spatter onto the machine itself. And then it's simply a matter of matching our high pressure hose to a high pressure fitting, and then screwing it into the actual correct port. Once we screw the fitting into the correct port, we tension it to around eight newton meters until it's nice and firm. Then once the high side's fitting, just apply the low side hose fitting directly under the low side adapter. Once the hoses have been fitted, the next step is to actually fill the oil bottles. So we want to ensure that we get the bottles correct, the right oil in the right bottle. So the first step is we'll fill up our PAG oil bottle first. To fill our oil bottle, unscrew the lid from the bottle itself. You want to remove the plunger, fill the actual container, and before actually putting the plunger back in, it's wise to actually lubricate the seal around the plunger itself and the shaft. Refit the plunger back on a slight angle and then slowly depress the plunger until there's oil, slight amount of oil coming through the tube itself. From that point, we align the tube with the bottle lid and then slowly depress the lid back on and screw back into place. Once our bottles have been filled, it's a matter of just applying them to the machine. It's important to note that they actually have locators on the rear so that they can't be fitted to the machine incorrectly. From there, it's a matter of just aligning them. Start with the waste oil first. Simply clipping them into place. Once the oil bottles have been attached to the front of the machine, the next step is actually to go to the rear of the machine but prior to powering the machine up and actually check and make sure that the oil level is correct in the vacuum pump. The next step is to actually attach the power supply lead and switch the unit on. Upon switching the unit on, it will go into its initial setup mode. Upon the machine powering up, the first stage of setup is actually choosing a language. Using the buttons on the bottom of the screen, we actually go through and select language first, then our unit of measurement. Then we can go through and actually alter the date and time using the numeric keys on the side of the machine. Once we've entered in the date and time, we can tick OK. Next step is to actually edit the header. Depends on workshop details, but you can actually use the keys on the side to enter in your workshop's details. Once your workshop details have been entered into the machine, the next step is to run a service vacuum. This involves actually attaching the couplers, the high and low side couplers to the service ports on the machine. We close the taps. And then following the prompts, press enter. It's of most importance we let this process complete itself rather than just pausing halfway through. This actually flushes the machine and sets it up ready for a tank filling process. Uh, approximately five minutes. This step actually vacuums itself out internally in preparation for tank filling. Once the service vacuum is completed, it's time to actually add refrigerant to the machine itself. It's worth noting, just ensure before fitting the adapters to your uh, refrigerant, just ensure that the copper washer is actually fitted inside the adapter itself. To fill the internal bottle, we attach the low side hose to the liquid port of our source tank, close the tap on the fitting, and then open the tap on the bottle. Using the numerical keys on the side of the screen, we enter in how much refrigerant we need to fill. Our minimum requirement is four kilos. So we type in four kilos and then press enter. And our tank fill is now in progress. Once 
Once the tank fill is completed, it'll prompt you to disconnect the hoses. Then entered is into the first stage of a recovery process where it's actually cycling the refrigerant through the machine.